Hey, this is Spectre Ball. I'm a gothic musician, also an occultist, and welcome to my channel. And also a tarot reader. Before we continue, I would like to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to the channel, especially I see new subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. And also thank you to all of you who attended my tarot live stream. Thank you so much. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to look at magic simplistically. But before we do that, consider subscribing, click on the notification bell to be alerted when a new video is available, and be sure to click on the like button to let YouTube know that we exist. Also, click on that notification bell because I do stream live tarot every week. Don't miss out on getting a free tarot reading. Also, if you want an in-depth tarot reading, consider contacting me at officialspectroballgmail.com. Slots are filling up and I offer spiritual consultations if you need help in any type of work that you do. So, how do we look at magic simplistically? The thing is, everything has to do with our intuition and patience. There's so many books out there that have so much information about what magic is and how it works that it could get really, really confusing, especially when you are working with ceremonial type of magic. It gets more and more confusing as you read more about it. Am I doing this right? Am I pronouncing these words correctly? Am I closing the ritual correctly? All these questions come to mind. In the end, what matters is, did the magic work? How do you feel after you have done the work? After you have done the magic? That is what is important. When we are doing magic, we are growing. We are learning more about ourselves. We are learning about our shadow side. We are learning about both halves of ourselves. The light half, the dark half, whatever you want to call it. The different contrasts within ourselves. Look at magic in a simple way. If it feels right, it is right. If it feels wrong, it is wrong. Meditation is very important when it comes to magic. You should also be aware of different things around you. How does the energy feel? Is it a slow vibration? Is it a fast vibration? Be aware of your senses when working with magic. That is very important. It's an accumulated effort when you are doing this. The more you do it, the more you will sense things come to you. Sometimes when we begin magic, we really don't feel anything. We think to ourselves, did this work? Didn't it work? We really don't know what's going on. But the more you do it, the more it becomes a process in your life, you will start to feel the differences on how it affects your mind and your body and how you interact with the world. That is what is important in magic, is how you feel and how everything works and how you are aware of the energies around you. If you are looking at a spirit you want to work with and the ritual you are looking at is just so complicated, cut it down. There's certain things that you need when you work with a specific spirit. You need a circle to put your focus on and energy and also to keep your mind at peace so you know that you are protected. You need to cleanse the space so the environment is clean of any chaotic energy. Chaotic energy that you can produce. We constantly produce energy. We are energy. The thing is, whatever emotions that we have can be locked in the walls of where we are in our environment. And the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram does help clean this environment just like a doctor's office makes everything sterile. You bring in the elements, earth, fire, air, water, and spirit to clean the space. It is very important to do the lesser banishing ritual with the pentagram and to do it daily. Now, if you feel uncomfortable doing work like that, you could also use singing bowls, use candles, 
incense, anything to clean the space of any chaotic energy. I try to look at things very simplistically when I do magic. Sometimes I might want to do some type of ceremonial magic to make it elaborate. The more energy you put in, the more energy you will get back. Yes, but sometimes we don't have time for this. We have to go to work, we have to live, we have to pay rent, we have to eat. Sometimes we just don't have time for these things and we need something very quickly. So try to look at magic simplistically. Don't overcomplicate things, don't overthink it. What's important is that you contact the spirit you want to contact and have a relationship with that spirit. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.